Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We're doing a mobile service call today on this 2006 Chevy Silverado. Customer complaint is he's driving down a dirt road, hits some bumps, and a whole bunch of stuff in the truck goes dead. So right now, he came back from a test drive and the truck is acting up. So we have to keep it running to diagnose this issue. He said if you shut it off and restart it, everything comes back to life. So let's see what's broken um, and uh, try to figure this one out. Alright, so you can see the dash here. Most of the gauges are at zero. It says service four-wheel drive. Uh, the tack does work. He said the speedometer stopped working. The four-wheel drive transfer case lights all went out. The wipers still work. The AC still works. But the door locks stopped working. And did, did the passenger window work, Jim? Yeah, the that, that was dead all the time. Okay. But the driver's side window still works. But the door locks used to work right before it glitched out. So, doing a full coat scan, we could not auto ID the vehicle, and you can see all the modules are grayed out. So, there is definitely a communication fault. This is a single wire class 2 uh, system, and if that network's taken down, none of the modules can talk, so the cluster won't know what to show, the four wheel drive won't know what to do. Um, so, right now, the network is down. But if you cycle the key off and on, supposedly it comes back. So what does that tell you? I, I don't think this is going to be a circuit fault. I think it's going to be a module fault. So when something warms up, it's taking down the entire network. So how do we go about diagnosing this problem? First thing I want to do is get an oscilloscope on that communication wire on the network through the DLC while the truck is running. We'll see what, what it looks like. And then we have to disable these modules one at a time and see if the network comes back. That's the the process. It might take a little while. We'll try to be efficient and see if we can track this down. All right, we've got our scope rolling. Just one channel or zero volts. We want to touch the power pin on the DLC. Make sure the scope works. Yep, sure enough, we have good battery voltage. Now let's go to pin two. That's the communication pin. Go in here. Guys, this is pulled down Looks like it's pulled down the ground, doesn't it? Let's check the power pin again. We'll check the ground pins. That's good. So the two ground pins are fine communication pin so why did it go up to 5 volts and then back down the ground let's try that again let me try to activate some stuff so this network is being pulled down the ground right now Why is it being pulled down by a module? That's my question. Let's get a wiring diagram out. This is interesting. I just saw a pulse that go, goes up to 5 volts and then a couple of spikes. So this is communication right here. 5 to 12 and then back down to 0. Very interesting. Let me save that and then we'll try to restore this network. Actually, there's something weird going on right here. If I move my lead, need a good connection here. Okay, so maybe my probe was, wasn't in all the way. So that is the. Uh, waveform, so you can see it's only dropping down to 5.3 volts. It should be dropping down to 0, it should be a 0 to 12 volt. Um, 
so that's why nothing's talking. Let's see what's lifting up this voltage, and for that we need wiring diagrams of all the modules on the vehicle. Alright, so considering the uh, passenger window is having issues even before this is problem started, let's uh, look up the diagram for door locks and windows. I'm interested in these door modules. So we have a driver's door module right here and passenger door module right here. And the fuses are in the fuse box on the driver's side here in the dash. So I want to pull the PDM fuse 15 amp and DDM fuse 15 amp. And they are PDM fuse 10 amp, DDM fuse 15 amp. And while looking at our scope, So we'll take a look at that. So the let's see here, the DDM fuse is right here, which is let me orient myself. Break ten. So it's going to be that middle one. So this is the first one I'm going to pull right here. We'll see if our scope pattern changes at all. Nope, did not change. And now let's pull the driver's door module fuse, one, two, three, four, the third one, right here, this 15 amp. Nothing changed either. Okay, so we're striking out right now. I'm tempted to cycle the key and see if the network comes back to life. Uh, but on the other hand, I don't want to reset the truck and have it fixed again so the owner will have to test drive it and recreate the problem. Alright, so just for the sake of an experiment, we're going to shut the engine off. I'm going to turn the key back on. There's our odometer. Our prindle still missing. So it looks like the truck is still broken, none of the gauges came up. Okay, so that's good, so we don't have to run it to find this issue. Let's start it up one time. Okay, look. We started it up. The network is back. Zero to eight volts. And everything's back to life. The Prindle, um, four-wheel drive. So network is restored. That was a cool capture right there. On engine startup. Let's back it up a frame. So see, we were broken. As soon as I cranked it, we have good communication again. So let me save this waveform, and we'll see if we can duplicate this complaint again. But now we have really good direction of what to look for. All right, so let's shut the key off. Network is still totally fine. Still totally fine. Let's see what works and what doesn't work. So the door locks work. Oh look, the passenger window works. So everything works. Uh, we can scan it for codes right now, clear them all out, and take it for another test drive make, to, to break it again. Alright, so we got a full code scan now while the network is up and running. Class 2 data link malfunction, class 2 data link malfunction, class 2 shorted to battery positive, and engine says we got some EVAP stuff, theft deterrent signal, lost communication with EBCM. And check this out. We can't talk to the ABS module. That's actually offline right now. So that's a huge clue. Let me save this in a report. The owner's going to drive it, make it act up again, and then I want to cut power to the ABS module because if it's offline but it's doing weird stuff, we just want to disable it, see if the network comes back. And that will be a definitive diagnosis of what's taking down this Class 2 network. Alright, so we're back to the broken state. It's going from 4 volts up to 12 volts, so something's lifting up this network. And we're going to unplug the ABS module under the truck and see if the network gets restored. Let me uh, try to get to that connector. Alright, here we go. 
We're gonna look at the laptop while unplugging this EBCM. It's right here. So I'm just gonna unplug the main connector. And moment of truth, if I can get the connector unplugged. Might be easier said than done. You guys keep looking at that scope. Nope, still broken. It's not the EVCM. is full of dirt. Definitely still broken. So I'm going to leave that unplugged for now and uh, keep moving on to the other modules. Still, oh wait a minute, no we, we did restore it. it. It's from zero to eight right now. So I think we got it. Did I catch it on the scope? Let's see. There it is, right there. So we can leave the EBCM unplugged, let the owner take it for another test drive, and uh... If the problem does not reoccur, we're done. So the owner here, he was watching while I was messing with that connector. He said the system came back, like the dash and everything, earlier, before I even fully unplugged the connector. So let's plug it back in, rescan everything. If the ABS is still offline, we'll leave it disconnected. If it came back online, it could be a connector problem. It's all muddy and dusty and dirty under there. So maybe we can clean it out and plug it back in. But this is the money shot right here. All right, we're, it's trying to talk to the ABS and moment of truth here. It doesn't look like it. Nope, no con with the ABS. So we're gonna unplug it, clear all the other codes out, let the owner take it for one more good luck test drive, and uh, we'll call this truck fixed. We're just eliminating parts, making it more reliable, simplifying the whole thing. All right, so we have a green tree, ABS is offline. You just have one code in the passenger presence system, don't really care. Make sure everything works. Yep. Why is the... Oh, there we go. Yep, that works. Mirrors work. Wipers work. HVAC works. So I think we'll leave the truck as it is. That was a fun one. Scope absolutely necessary in this one to track down what the network was doing and then you have to look at the data while changing anything. It messed with that ABS connector, boom, network restored, back in business, so one more test drive and uh, I think we're done with this truck. So thanks a lot for watching, we'll see you in the next one, bye bye.